skeletal forms clatters to the ground. A muffled shout can be heard from the passageway. Linda Lay has been slain. Strike the mortal blow. A chest. Now we may see the glint of gold. have been told of strange disturbances inside Lord's March Palace. You enter the darkened building to investigate.
A dusty puzzle wheel sits here, dormant and unsolved. form stands before you. Then it grins slightly, revealing a set of fangs that betray the creature's true nature. form materializes nearby. A chill of fright runs down your spine as it approaches.
The darkness of Maybar has transformed this place into a corrupt shadow of what it once was. The way ahead is blocked. opens nearby. You unlock the door. Something in the shadows. Something about this area seems strange. You spot shapes up ahead, evil creatures that have been called forth by the endless night. You savor this small victory over the force. 
forces of darkness. You found the Necromancer, but the Spellcaster is under attack by a group of Scarecrows. Grimsby the Necromancer hands you an enchanted talisman. Now to find a way into the seemingly abandoned village. Infuriating! me. But 
when I kill you, you'll regret making the trip. Wished him once and for all. Or so you hope. What kind of horn hides within this little chest? During the night revels, the plain of Maybar becomes coterminous with this corner of Stormreach. Dark energies are building throughout the graveyard. Destroy the undead before they threaten the rest of the city.
Distant sounds of panicked voices and scattered fighting echo from the walls. The moonlight reveals a path amongst the rooftops. Scattered bandages and fetid dust. You can see a lever who seems to control the next gate. The gate opens, revealing a courtyard and a ladder. Dark creatures begin to appear from the shadows. The ladder slides into place, allowing access to the rooftops above.
Roderick Nettle's undead form slumps to the ground. Mercy, avenge me. He gasps. The shield surrounding the lich fades, and he closes to attack. The tattered form falls in defeat, and the feeling of dread that surrounded the lich fades. assails you as you begin to explore the hideout. Guttural groans of shuffling undead can be heard through the door. A muffled voice squeaks. The door shatters as several creatures shamble towards you. Now here is the lich feeds his creations to attack. Malkyric shouts, As Malkyric crumbles to dust, a feeling of calm settles throughout the room. A chest. Now we may 
may see the glint of gold. A chest. Now we may see the glint of gold. Servants drop from the roof. The creature hisses. Oh, is that the boss, the master? With the mummy gone, Maxwell Stadler nervously returns to the tavern. Ah, what kind of hoard hides within this little chest? Ah, what kind of hoard hides within this little chest? the spectral dragon lies imprisoned far below Dolera's graveyard. The creature's jailer, Ivan, is eager to speak with you. To imprison the spectral dragon, you must relight the crystals that power the central oculus. Cultists loyal to eternity have broken in and disabled the mechanism that held the spectral dragon. As the lever is pulled, the gem above shoots a light beam towards a nearby mirror. As the beam hits the crystal, 
A voice from the central chamber bellows in rage. Servants! Stop these intruders before they ruin everything! Feel the force of my claws. In the chamber below, Eternity is preparing a ritual that will destroy the wards that hold her once and for all. kept the gate locked, vanishes as the creature falls. Moonlight shines down upon eternity, making the spectral dragon vulnerable to your attacks. The door to the upper area closes behind you, trapping you in the chamber with eternity. The last glint of moonlight vanishes as the oculus closes. Well done, my servants! Boom's eternity. But the accursed is right wrong. The intruders cannot harm me. They are trapped within the chamber, so I can kill them at my leisure. <laughs> Yvonne calls to you from above. I've opened the gate. Quickly now, make your escape. The gate to the west is now open, allowing you to return to the outer passages. Creatures emerge, surrounded by necromantic energy and dangerous to any who approach. Mechanical scraping can be heard as the oculus grinds open. In the central chamber, eternity bellows in outrage.
spectral dragon freezes in place as her magical bindings return. Eternity a is a prisoner once more. Now we may see the glint of gold.